guys. Bottling wine today. It's like the first time making one. I guess I'd go together with it. Right now I'm just sanitizing the bottles. I didn't want to do it upstairs because the wine has got a good, quite a bit of sediment in after uh, the clarifying agent got added and potassium. Minimize bit of sulfate. I've got star sand in here. I actually put in some potassium sorbate. I don't know if I should or not, but I don't think it's going to hurt anything because there's going to be a little of that potassium sorbate left in the bottles. Um, all right, metabisulfate. sulfate. So it may actually add to the aging stability, I guess, of the wine. I didn't want to put it into there and then stir that all up again. So I just put it in here and I figured it triple the dose that you would actually put in the carboy. So when it's diluted in this much stand sanitizer, it's probably not a lot. But I'm hoping there's enough residue left over on the bottles to create the stabilizing factor. Here it goes. They're all sanitized. But actually, I had 36 bottles, but I don't need that many. So probably. 30 or so. So I'm leaving them in the box just helps to um, stabilize them but if I get a little spillage in between it's going to get in the box and not on the floor. But, <clears throat> although this is concrete <clears throat> um, and I'm going to eventually finish the flooring in here once the walls are done. So um, as far as bottling this goes, I, what I did is took the regular bottling wand that we, I use for beer uh, that I put on the end of the bottling bucket and I just attached it to the bottle siphon. I'm going to take this off and I'm just going to bottle straight from here. Oh wow, that's good. So, I'm going to get some going first. Some for the waste or the gods, some for me. down inside there. I'm going to have to hold it up. They're dark bottles, so... So like I said, it's my first attempt at wine, and um, I figured I'd make the wine that I like the most, which is a Malbec, or a Malbec. Oh god, I cannot see inside this bottle. What I've read is you want to fill them up um, to about the neck. I mean the uh, the base of the neck. It smells like a Malbec. It's like a Malbec. It's a little tart. Yeah. Kind of that oaky backbone that I like from Malbecs. It's not super tart. It leaves that alcoholic warmth, not the uh, not that sharp alcoholic thing you get from bad wine. That, that heat that builds a little bit after you've swallowed it. Good lord, I cannot see inside there. Go look for the flashlight here. Wow, that's really good.
Okay, I got it. Oh, that's better. It's just a little dark in this corner. All right, guys, so I'm going to bottle this stuff up and uh, cork it. I'll show the corking process. I bought a Portuguese floor corker. Um, and uh, pretty much it. I, well, making wine so far is super easy. Um, and it's, you know, if your wife or your girlfriend likes wine but doesn't like beer, it's a good way to get them involved in your, your hobby. All right, I'll cut up for now. All righty. I got 28 bottles, not 30. Uh, there's a little bit left, probably enough to fill another bottle, but I think I'll be sucking down some of the sediment, so to me it's not worth it. So, but some of these bottles I'm gonna give away to a few people that I work with, <laughs> and I don't want them to get that one bottle that's full of sediment. So, I'm just gonna throw these corks and some star sand. Alright, so it's the first time I use this thing. So I guess you drop one in there like that. Bring this down. And it just sets in there like that. It squeezes the cork. And that just the depth, so we'll find out if the depth is right. It's not. A little more. a little more. Yeah, just below the rim. I think it's probably pretty good. That's typically what I've seen when I drink wine and open it for the first time. So, it uh, makes it easier for one person to do. Well, no, I gotta label. I gotta label them. Yeah. Now I've got these foil crowns that go over them. They shrink wrap ones. So I'll do that after. I'll show the finished product. That's pretty much it. Quite a bit of wine. <laughs>